Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooklyn Quartermain is prepared to marry. Brooklyn makes Chase a very happy guy in the General Hospital recap for Monday, December 4, 2023. Also in this episode, Christina confided in Blaze, Sunny and Nina worked out some issues, Drew had some good news for Carly, and Molly informed TJ about her sister's generous offer. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. Brooke Lynn was unsure how to react to Chase's proposal. In reality, she ordered him to get up because she didn't want him to feel pressed into doing something so significant. Chase, much to her surprise, was not feeling any pressure. Neither her mother nor grandmother. He made this decision entirely on his own. He showed her the beautiful ring he had purchased and had been keeping around in his pocket for weeks. Lois and Gloria had even brought it up weeks ago. It was his father's illness that drove him to the jeweler. Why wait when there is so much uncertainty in life? Having stated that, BLQ couldn't deny his genuine intents. She asked him to propose once again. Chase returned to bended knee, ring in hand, and proposed to her. BLQ said yes this time. Lois assisted Ned in making sense of his rage toward Michael in the living room. To her, it was evident that this was more about Michael closing his transaction than it was about closing the sale. Lois lamented the fact that the Quartermain's conflict would never end. Isn't it time they all noticed the good in each other and worked together? Ned eventually agreed that she was correct. Drew arrived at Kelly's to visit Carly at the same time. He found her in the kitchen, listening to Joss discuss all of Adam's troubles. Did you miss that part? You can read all about it here. He abruptly ended the chat by announcing his departure from town. Joss had gone so they could talk. Drew informed Carly that he would be flying to Australia for work the next day. He stated it would only be a week. But before he departed, he wanted to take her out to supper. They kissed, kissed again, and left. Nana was upset at being kept in the dark at Sonny's office. Sonny explained why he kept business and pleasure separate. Look at how the feds pursue for Carly even after she was no longer his wife. He had no idea Nina was the one who had tipped her off. Nina reminded Sonny that she wasn't the same as Carly. She was unique. She was fearless. And she would go to any length to protect him. She needed to know he was in jeopardy. Damn the risks. Nina is his woman, and she needs to be kept in the loop no matter what. Meanwhile, Christina, Kate Muncy, brought Molly home and offered to be her surrogate once more. When TJ returned home, she left. Molly and TJ talked about their baby's dilemma. Molly acknowledged to meeting the agent on her own and everything that followed, including Christina offering up her wom. TJ thought it was a fantastic idea as long as Molly agreed, which she did. Let's have a child. Christina, on the other hand, asked Blaze back to her apartment. Blaze announced a new track, and they raised a glass to her success. Not just Blaze's accomplishment, but also Alison Roger Ramirez, Blaze's real name. Christina opened up about her prior relationships as the ladies discussed much of their past. None of them were particularly good, and one was quite terrible and abusive. Blaze understood Christina's situation and sympathized with her. Then she stretched out for her, and the two had a hot kiss. A clash between Ava Jerome and Cyrus was unavoidable. General Hospital spoilers for December 5, 2023 reveal that Ava will face more drama in the aftermath of Austin's death. Next up for her is a showdown with Cyrus Renault. Ava's difficulties haven't gotten any better since Austin's death. In fact, they've become worse. After all, someone out there gave her a mystery letter and believes she should be thankful the guy is no longer alive. She made the foolish decision of burning up the photograph of the doctor's dead body with the phrase, you're welcome, after disclosing her Austin and Nicholas-related secrets to Nina. Will her decision come back to bite her in the behind? Unfortunately, there is no rest for the weary or those in need an extremely strong dirty martini for Ava. The former mafia queen is going to confront the guy suspected of murdering Dr. Gatton Holt. 
Her quest for the truth, as well as her desire to rid herself of the stench of suspicion, forces her to exchange words with Cyrus. Hopefully, the ex-con's good behavior kick won't last much longer, and this fight between Alva and Cyrus will be intense. That is without a doubt when Alva is at her most powerful and destructive. Curtis, Donald Turner, has a new mission in life now that he's looking into his shooting. He's curious as to how he became collateral damage. He had previously enlisted Jordan and Nina's assistance with this endeavor. His next stop is, of course, Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard. After all, Sonny could be one of the reasons he's in a wheelchair, because everyone believes he or Anna was the intended victim. Will Sonny be able to answer Curtis' questions? Will Curtis have any leads to pursue after this conversation? Meanwhile, Detective Dante Falconeri is investigating his own leads and informs Sam of a discovery. His primary emphasis is currently on Austin's murder, but will this revelation have any bearing on another case? And will Sam's intuition and suggestions help Dante view things differently? Laura's recent job, other from being mayor of Port Charles, of course, appears to be keeping Esm, Avery Pole, on the straight and narrow road. She's reassuring the memory-challenged young lady once more. It's possible that this is about either recognizing Esm's parental abilities or her decision to move out of Laura's penthouse and into her own place with Ace. Finally, Christina and Blaze are progressing at what could be described as a slow burn. They recently celebrated Thanksgiving together, and Blaze is about to open himself even more to Christina. Is Christina about to discover more about Blaze's past? Is this possible bonding moment related to Christina maybe telling Blaze about her offer to be a surrogate for her sister? If you missed them last Friday, Soap Hub has all of your weekly General Hospital spoilers in one spot. They tell you what your favorite Port Charles power players are up to in the coming days. Learn more about the amazing GH actor and enjoy the photo collection. Even Hofer didn't always want to be an actor. In fact, as a young man, he aspired to play in the NBA, but that did not pan out. When his family relocated from Kansas to Los Angeles, Hofer decided to try his hand at acting, following a recurring part on Disney XD's Kick in It and a few primetime guest appearances, he scored his first dramatic role in the 2018 feature film Run the Race. In 2022, the actor was cast as the enigmatic Dex Heller on General Hospital. Hofer arrived in Port Charles as a veteran manager at Volanino's gym. Sonny Corinthos was so delighted with his performance that he gave him a place in his organization. Dex was eventually shown to be working undercover for Michael Corinthos, attempting to obtain information on the mafia. When the gym manager and part-time hood began to admire his difficult boss, he fell for his boss's stepdaughter, Josephine Jacks. When Michael's wife Willow became critically ill, he changed his mind about Sonny, and he dropped his petty vendetta against his father. Dex has decided to remain Sonny's right-hand guy, and is now publicly dating Joss with his permission. Fortunately, Hofer's situation is not as difficult. He enjoys working on the daytime drama. Soap Hub spoke with a fan favorite to learn more about him and prepared an entertaining photo gallery for your viewing enjoyment. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.